I knew I sense a familiar presence these past two months. I've known you for years. Don't think you can hide from me. I told you. I sensed your presence. If you want to follow us, I've got no objections as long as you don't try to sink our ship with your lovely singing voice. Oh, don't be so indignant. If you were really that worried about me, would it have hurt to let me know about your presence earlier? I'm not pouting. I'm not. I'm not! Look, all I'm saying is that it would have been nice to know you were with me earlier. I mean... I like it here. They're all very nice to me. I don't have to follow all the rules that my mother and father sent out for me. Do you know how hard it was to sneak out of the house to the coastline? There's a reason why our meetings were always so sparse. Of course, I could have lived up to my parents' expectations. I just didn't quite feel like it. No freedom in being a nobleman. I much prefer it out at sea. Sure, I miss my parents. But again, I much prefer the feeling of freedom that being with this crew has given me. Yes, even through the danger. I've had sword fighting classes, you know. I can protect myself if it ever comes down to it. Okay, that one time I dropped my sword because you scared me doesn't count. I was young back then. How did you even keep up with us? There have been entire days of us traveling through rough and dangerous waters. And don't give me that, I have my mermaid ways spiel. I don't believe for a second that you'd have the continued stamina to keep up with us. So you used one of the boarding nets that we thought had gone missing in the storm and built yourself a cradle of sorts by attaching it to the bottom of our ship with... With what? You know, you tell me about things under the waves but I'm never sure whether or not you're messing with me or not. No, 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 you... You don't have to show me. I'm not scared. I just think... I mean... You mentioned how it was such a hassle to get in the first place, and, um... I think it'd still be a hassle here. So you don't have to go through all the trouble. Really. Oh, come on. You think I'd really be afraid of whatever a... sea cucumber is? I just... <sighs> Forget it. Um... Yes. I'm enjoying the journey. I thought we established that. If your endpoint is to get me to go home, you can forget it, okay? I mean, 
It's even less appealing now that I know you're here. Your offer? All right. I didn't think you were serious back then. I mean, I, I trust you, of course, but... I never read anything about mermaids being able to turn other beings into... mermaids. So... You can't blame me for being skeptical back then. Look, I... I appreciated the offer. I still appreciate it now. But... Well... I have a crew to call my family now. And we're bonded by the sea. <laughs> I guess you could say that we are too. Tell you what. Not that it's ever going to happen, but if I ever fall overboard while fatally injured, then I give you full permission to turn me into a mermaid. Or, well, I guess, merman. Well, injuries are always going to happen on a pirate ship. I strained a muscle trying to weigh anchor on my first week, if you can believe it. Look, I promise I can take care of myself. You can trust me. Since when have I ever failed you? Okay, we don't talk about the ice cream incident, but... Fine... You can... You can watch my back. Just... Promise that whenever we dock from now on, we'll find a moment to chat. Okay. I'll bring you land snacks, as you call them. I always will. Oh, they're looking for me. Hey, I'll talk to you later, all right? <laughs> like I get stabbed anytime soon. I've always got my wits about me. You know this. <laughs> Very well. I'll see you the next time we dock. Stay safe, my siren. I hope I hear you sing tonight.